Alright, it's day 152. Uh, leaving this trail heading south. It's, there's no markings, but I think I go down these rocks. Because I can see boardwalks over there, so that must be the trail. Alright, we got down off the rocks, but now we hit this. You don't often see a boardwalk intersection. So that goes somewhere, and that goes somewhere. All right, as mentioned, it's day 152. So uh, we spent a, a pretty cold night, super windy. I was glad the tents held up. That, uh, I got a sketchy. <laughs> uh, all right, as we were saying, it was a long, difficult night. And we made it, it was fine, you know. But it was cold. It got down in the high 30s. Uh, waited intentionally laying covered until the sun came up and got to about 40, 41. Before getting up. Had some coffee with protein powder. Had my uh, ramen mixed with uh, tofu and veggies. And some extra oil for calories. And uh, packed it up and we're off and running. So today we're going to go over a couple of mountains. A, lot, a little bit of climbing. And uh, we'll probably stop at Galehead Hut. Just to stop and get water. Uh, maybe soup, I don't know. <laughs> Buzz has this thing for hut soup now. And every hut he wants to stop and get soup. Um, they, uh, our last... Uh, our, our destination is Garfield Ridge Shelter, so it's an actual shelter instead of what we did last night, which is stealth camping. So yeah, I'm looking around and there's, there's like no blazes to tell you where to go. I assume this is still the AT. Alright. Um, yeah, so should be not a hard day. That'll set us up tomorrow for one of the things I've been looking forward to, which is a place called Franconia Ridge. A lot of people, especially locals, have told me, man, Franconia Ridge is one of the most awesome places around, and make sure you do it on a good day. It looks like we are perfectly set up for a good day. So, weather's going to hold today and tomorrow, and it'll be sunny. I just talked to a local who was up here at the cliffs and um, he was saying I was talking to a local he just passed me and so I had to stop filming um, he was telling me that uh, it's a great time of year to go up to Franconia because in the summer months he said it could be like a conga line at the top with all the local day hikers and so there's gonna be less people up there now which would be nice gonna have a weird hair day and just see it Oh well. All right, we're now passing uh, Zealand Summit. This is the Zealand Mountain we've been climbing up. And uh, yeah, okay, done. Next, uh, it's a 4K mountain, so that's kind of cool. Uh, next up is Mount Guyot. I think that's how you pronounce it. G-U-Y-O-T. No idea. So, uh, yeah. We gotta climb up another 550 feet to get to the top of Mount Guyot. Climbed up into the alpine region of Mount Guyot. And uh, I don't know if there's a summit sign, but we're supposedly near the top or at the top. See far in the distance all the mountains. I don't know what that is. Just a cairn, I guess. Okay, it's got super windy up here. It's been like what we dealt with all night long. Woo! -hoo. It comes and goes. So it's not like when we were on top of uh it Musalak, it was just like constant but here like boom it's gone 
and then it comes back. Big burst of wind. One of the oddest things I've noted about today, I've been hiking for three and a half hours. And in that time since we left our tent site, I have not seen or heard one living animal other than humans. It's odd. Normally, there's chipmunks and squirrels all over the place. The, chip, the squirrels are chattering at you as you come by. You hear birds. I have not heard one bird. And I have not seen a caterpillar, a frog, anything on the ground. Not even crickets or insects. I mean, it's, I mean, the stillness, you can tell, it's just quiet. It's very odd, though. I don't know why. I mean, it makes some sense when you're up near the tree line, but even when we're down lower, nothing. So at some point I'll see something, but it's weird at three and a half hours of hiking and not one single sound, not one single sighting. All right, we're part way, almost all the way up West Peak. Um, and so here's the view as we walk up. Pretty amazing. The, uh, I think those rock slides over there was where we were yesterday, walking across that, I think. All right, I think we finally I've come to the summit of West Peak. Pretty high mountains, over 4,900 feet in elevation. It's windy up here. Super windy. Almost got to really keep a tight grip on my phone. Climbing down from West Peak, and uh, it's a healthy climb. It was over a thousand feet of drop in less than in around 0.7 miles, so that's a pretty good rate of descent. But I see the hut that I'm trying to reach. We're not staying there, but that's the next stop. All right, we're coming up to the hut, and uh, we've hiked about seven miles, and uh, I'm still kind of fascinated by the fact that my the lack of animals. So, total animal count over seven miles and three mountains, up and down three mountain peaks, uh, that I have heard, zero. No birds in the trees, no woodpeckers pecking, no squirrels chattering, nothing. Total animals I have seen, I saw a spider, I saw one inchworm, and a couple of gnats. That's it. That's all I've seen. I don't even see evidence of animals having lived here. Like typically you'd see some scat, nothing. Or very often you'd walk along and you'd see all the little pine cones destroyed by the squirrels. Nope, not one, not a bit. So, theories. EMC runs this place. They developed a powerful ray which just drives out all animals, but causes adults to think it's okay to spend $160 for a bunk without a shower. That's my theory. Ah, we finally reached Galehead Hut. And like all huts, they have a drinking water spigot on the outside. You can fill up stuff. Oh, look at the view. Ooh. You know, in a video game, when you get to that one hard part, they call it the last boss. And this may not be the last one. I'm trying to climb up to Garfield Ridge campsite. And this is here. 